Hey guys, for all you readers out there, some of you may have subscribed to Kindle and gotten the Kindle Paperwhite and you know, you love this thing and you read your books on here. Well, believe it or not, these books are hard to access from outside of Kindle because they are DRM protected, digital rights management. So if you wanted to switch to another e-reader such as Kobo or any of the other e-readers, you're gonna have a difficult time doing that. That's because the files on the Kindle app are encrypted. So I discovered a way to decrypt these files and use them on Kobo or any other e-reader so that you could read them anywhere and anyhow you want. And this is an update for 2025 because everywhere I searched, it said this wasn't possible, especially on Mac OS. All the searches I did said that you had to use Windows and you had to use old versions of some software. So believe it or not, I got this to work on the latest software on Mac OS, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so this is gonna be a little technical, but a couple of steps. First thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna need a software program called Calibre. I don't know if it's open source, but it's free. And literally just download this, and this is gonna be the Mac OS tutorial version. This may work on Windows also. So go ahead and you can support them if you want, but go ahead and download the latest version, which I'm using 8.4.0. You're gonna to go to your downloads. You're gonna open that up, uh, copy that to your applications folder. And you are going to open the Calibre app. The first time you open it, you will get a prompt. Yep, you just click open. Okay, and then here you choose where you want your library to be stored. This is a folder on your desktop where all the ebooks will be stored. So I'm just gonna choose the default for now. It says choose your ebook device. So I'm gonna choose my Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. Now this method that I'm showing you will work with a Kindle Paperwhite and I haven't tried it with any other Kindles. So let's just say that this is gonna work for Kindle Paperwhite because that's what I've tested. So uh, I don't put all this information in Next, finish. Okay, so now Calibre is open and you have this quick start guide that comes by default. All right, so how do you get your eBooks off of your Kindle and into this Calibre software program, which then your eBooks can be transferred to a Kobo or you could just simply read it here in Calibre. Then you could transfer them to another e-reader too, for example. So. Okay, first thing you do is go to your Kindle and I'm gonna do this example on the latest book I'm reading by Matt Hay called The Midnight Library. So first thing you need to do is get your serial number off your Kindle. So simply go up here, make sure that the Kindle is obviously awake. Uh, go up here to the top menu, go to all settings, go to device options, and then go to device info. Clicking on device info will show the serial number of this device. You're gonna to have to write that down, put that in your Mac OS notes or something and save that so that you have that for later. Uh, when you do type it out, don't include the spaces. You're not gonna use the spaces. There's gonna be about 16 characters. So I'm not gonna show you mine, but clicking on device info will show that serial number. Okay, now that you have the serial number saved somewhere special, next thing you do is go to Calibre preferences, and you're gonna to go to plugins, get new plugins, and you're gonna search for KFX. Do KFX input, double click that. Yes, there's a security risk, okay. Click yes, and then restart Calibre. Great, next thing you need to do, and I'll leave this link in the description, you need to go to this plugin. It's a uh, no DRM, DRM tools. It's up on GitHub and download the latest right here, right here is 10.0.9. Download that zip, go to your downloads and extract that zip. All right, so now you have a folder in your downloads called this and it's gonna have these files in there. So what you do is go back to Calibre, go back to preferences and go to plugins, go to load plugin from file, go to your downloads and go to this folder and open up the, just the DDRM underscore plugin dot zip. Just open that. 
This, there's a security risk, yes. Okay. Restart Calibre. Okay. Uh, next thing you're going to do is go to Calibre Preferences. Go to Plugins. Type in DRM. And customize the DR DDRM plugin. I'm going to put Kindle e Link eBook. Here we go. And then add right here, click the plus sign and put your serial number in here. Put the serial number in here without spaces. Okay, save and close that window. And click OK. Click Apply. And click Close on Preferences. Okay, next thing you need to do is connect your Kindle to your computer with the USB. All right, for some reason I get this ebook covers warning when I plug in my Kindle. Okay, next thing you do is go to Finder and go to Kindle which is uh, a new location now that you've plugged in your Kindle. Go to Documents and Downloads. Then there's this folder in here, Items 01. At least that's what I have on my Kindle. And you're gonna just copy this whole folder. This has all your, this has all your books on it. Copy that folder, go to your Downloads and just create a From Amazon folder and paste all those files, including the folders and everything else inside this from Amazon folder. So it has KFX files, uh, SDR folders, and, and all every, all the works. Once you do that, you could add the entire library, or I'm just going to add one for this demo. You got add books, go to the from Amazon folder and go to the book that you want or select all of them if you want. I'm going to choose the Midnight Library because that's the one I'm demoing here. Open that up. And mind you, the Kindle is still plugged in. So here's the book. Now, if you try to open this now, for some reason, it just keeps opening up duplicates for me. So I'm going to just remove these two duplicates. And what you actually do is right mouse click the KFX file, click Convert Books, Convert Individually, and you can bulk convert also. I'm sure that would work. Uh, but just select EPUB. That's that's what I'm going to choose because I think that's a universal format uh, in the upper right hand corner. And then click OK. And you get this little job queue here on the bottom right. It takes a minute. But once it's done, it converted the KFX. And now you have an EPUB format. You should be able to open this file. on any e-reader, including the one on your Mac with uh, Calibre. So this is Calibre and this is the e-reader and this is the EPUB format. If you go to your documents folder, wherever you stored your library, mine was in my home folder in Calibre library. You go to the author name, go to the book name, and there you have not only the Amazon encrypted file, but you have the EPUB file. And this is something that you could easily copy to Kobo or anything else. Uh, I believe you could use the Calibre app to even send it to the device when you connect the Kobo to USB. I'm waiting for my Kobo in the mail, so I'm excited to use it. I have not tried sending it to the device, but uh, the good news is we have a open source EPUB file unencrypted and you'll be able to use that. Now, obviously there's legal reasons why you can't do this. Uh, you can't send this out or publish this anywhere publicly, but you can use it on your own devices as far as I know. So there we go. There it is. Mac OS 2025 converting KFX to EPUB. We got it working. Thank you. Like and subscribe.